all right what's going on everyone supreme kami over here so we are going to be uh, doing another one of these uh, bingo set over here uh, this time around we do have the old gundam um obviously i am a pretty big fan of the double series that's why i'm kind of doing another bingo set with you guys again uh after i have upgraded you know the uh, the old gundam to that level 90 i will go ahead and finish up the other two bingo set that we have uh these are pertaining to the new ai pilot uh these are like event type ai pilot so what you need to do uh, you need to you need to play this one. So basically, you just go to your friends list, and then there's an event tab already. You just basically play those two. So you have to play once, uh, win once, and then you have to, you have to play the actual GBM, their, their official uh, uh, what is it? Their unit as well. You, so basically, you play you have to play it and win it. Uh, it's going to be the same as that. So you need to also upgrade a pilot as well. Uh, in terms of the last one up here, this is going to be more of a, a cumulative over here. This is going to be more of like a cumulative. Yeah, this one says all over here, so it's more like everyone doing it. So I think this one has not. I don't, I'm not sure why they're not proctoring it. Probably because we haven't hit that mark yet. Uh, but it's, it's fairly, sim uh, fairly simple, I would say. So uh, I should be able to finish up three of these bingo sets probably within the end of the video today obviously the last one with the last box is, can't do it because it's pertaining to everyone so that's going to be pretty much it so let me go ahead and upgrade the remaining parts of the double double old gundam over here all right so i have successfully upgraded every parts to level 90 over here so uh, i would say this one is going to be another one of your mo more expensive uh, bingo set up here i think the most expensive thing people tend to look at is going to be um when using like the like the material using using to upgrade it uh because you do have to burn uh what is it? i do have nine parts over here you do you do have to burn uh five sets of 18 is it 18 sets of five of, of the what is what is it the, those word tag awakening circuits i think those are the part that people tend to not have the most because not only do they have to awaken this for the bingo set they also do have to upgrade for their um like other suit they the other parts they need um obviously you do get a back but i feel like uh, in terms of, like the return value is not as much but obviously i think uh getting that premium summary ticket is probably a a good way to do it uh in terms of overall stats this is going to be a melee oriented unit uh because of the pilot last and last a yen over here so outfighter uh in terms of the actual armor is actually pretty high for a warfare unit over here uh, in terms of some of the part traits you have, uh, the head is going to be good. Alpha to EX skill boost, uh, EX, uh, EX skill power boost by 25%. So that is going to be good. In terms of the torso, uh, unfortunately, that is not a buff effects up. That is buffing the EX skill, like the effects that is up by 15%. So it just uh, enabled it to kind of run it just a little bit longer. So it's okay, but uh, not any, anything too spectacular. Uh, in terms of the army EX skill uh, or not EX skill portrait, you have to crit up by 17%. Yeah, it's not anything too great either. Uh, in terms of the leg, what is it? it would, when equipped, it special shot damage output boost by 20%. I mean, special shot attack is is kind of like it's whatever. Like, I think if you're doing, I think it's gonna benefit more if you're doing like the actual long beam special attack. There is one when you're, I believe, either you're using, I think, when you're using it like a rifle type, like this one I'm using over here, when you're using a rifle type, you, you do have the option to go into like that long beam. I think that's going to allow you to like better use like the 20 because it's for every hit at uh, 20. So for every tick or, or, or just every uh, damage marker, you do get increased by 20. So it is good in that matter, but I would say 20 is just really low balling it. Um, some other portrait you have in terms of the beam saber over here, you do have uh, job gauge increased by 30%. So some people do like it, you know, just using it on like different types of events, like uh, just enable enabling them to use your uh, job gauge a lot more faster. I say the shield is a good, pretty good. Uh, if if it's not only uh, locked to like a strong melee power, that's good. What is it? Let me let me read it from here uh yes yeah, strong melee attack so it's not not the best because that's only the last hit of a melee and then the other few hits you're not <laughs> getting any reduction so that's not good uh in terms of the pilot you do get a 10 armor gradually yeah that's a lot <laughs> yeah that's good huh yeah no, no, no 
definitely not the best over here. In terms of the EX skills, I think the EX skills is pretty good. Um, now let's start off with the Gene Feathers over here. So this one, a Manifest GM Particles of Swing, a Squad Recovery up by 38%. Also, raise your melee and shot defense up by 29%. So this is a pretty good defensive capability. Awakening as a free-to-play option. This is good. Look at this. Also, read, read this one. Read the last sentences out. This one also erases debuff effects on all complex. Yeah. I am pretty sure this is the first time we see any sort of these like erasing any debuff. So this one is actually good. This is the first time we have that. But I will say that um, GG and Freder actually did not happen on this version of the old Gundam. Uh, it happened on the raw version, like the one that is in the uh, gray version, gray and white. Um, so that's that, right? I don't think this ver this version don't even shouldn't even have have this one, right? So that's that. In terms of the last week's skill, we have a last shooting. Okay, so this one is the baby version of the RA72 um, last shooting. Uh, animation Y is going to be exactly the same, but this one in terms of cooldown and first time usage is completely different. Uh, this one does act as like a custom E skill, but in a, I would say in a down, extremely downgraded power wise, um, because the RA72 does have alteration, so that one is able to do up to S power. So this one is only doing C power. Uh, so that's going to be the major difference over here. Uh, but whenever this one does eventually, like, I mean, like, later, later down the road, does get an alteration, uh, this one should come up to a B plus power with alteration. Uh, Pierce Wise should stay at A minus, pretty much it. Uh, but this one does get a health recovery, a squad recovery up by 33%, and also going to boost your squad up by 29% of shot attack. So. This one is a very good uh, free to play option if you guys do need some of uh, some kind of like effects, gimmicks, uh, attack raising. This one is probably going to be it uh, for a lot of people out there. So not too bad overall. Uh, I would actually put this on a skin because I don't think when I do take on uh, go to the friend battle and, and trying to fight those folks over there, I don't think this unit itself is not going to be capable of that. So I'll actually, actually slap this on a skin. And then go collect the reward from the bingo set. You know what? Let's actually, let's actually collect the reward from the bingo set first. And then I will go ahead and put it onto the skin. And then we will hop into those friend battles. And this will be pretty much it for the video. Uh, just going to showcase a little bit of the uh, Okanam as well. <coughs> Alright, we are at the bingo set already. And we are already collecting or putting check mark on every one of those boxes right there. So that's pretty good. So let's see what kind of reward we're gonna get. I'm pretty, it's gonna be the, exactly the same as we have seen throughout uh, the past few weeks already. I would say the last week one is by far the easiest to do in terms of like what what is needed. Uh, let's see what terms in terms of the what what we, what we got over here. Okay, yeah, this is the one I'm talking about. A lot of people are slacking on a lot of these uh, word tag and getting service over here. Uh, because those are, I, I will say, still very, uh, a, a, a item that is not easy to get. Um, so that's pretty much it, you know. You do get 50 of that, but I think I use more than 50 when, when exchanging for it. But now coming down to the actual bingo set, you do get some capsule ticket X10. Some alteration tool, which is good. Yeah, that's pretty good. You got some B badges. You get four, uh, you get a, you get the whole set over here. It's head fragment over here. You get a premium uh, capsule summoning ticket as well, so you get 60, so uh, that is going to be the the bonus that they're going to get if you're upgrading 9 parts, they're going to they're gonna give you uh, 10, uh, 10 million more capitals than before, so that's good. So we will do the, uh, we'll just do the summoning right now, just talk about it. Also, did, we also did have a new banner, but I'm not going to talk about it. Not gonna talk about in this video. I'll talk about in the next video. Just you know, just going over the uh, general stuff that we have for Thursday night update, and then we will just hop over to this one over here. Uh, this banner I have already someone in it, and people if people do need some filler in on like what these two banner, it's gonna be do these two banners. Uh, the difference on this one compared to this one, right? This one guaranteed you a uh, one of the parts, one of the parts set from here. Yeah, and then you get seventeen. You get seventeen medals, right? So in theory, if you don't, if you want to test your luck, what you can actually do, you can just summon everything on this one banner over here. 
uh, because you will be able to chance you, you, you do have a 1% chance right maybe in those seven pulls you are able to get more than just one if that is if that is the case that is fairly good luck to you all out there but there are going to be instances where you can do those seven pulls and you will get nothing so in, in, in most best case scenario it is good to do this one first but if you guys do want to chance a little bit and want to get other part in along the way i would say probably this one but you know if you guys are someone who really needs some soul cup parts this one just some of this one uh this one is going to be guarantee you one of the one of the uh exclusive parts from this set but let's actually do my summon for the tickets over here and let's see what we can get okay okay what am i going to get out of this bingo set here or the tickets here okay oh gonna start out with a purple part not bad <laughs> Another one? Oh, this shit is actually pretty good. We'll take that. We'll take that. Nice. Nice. That's good. We got some pretty useful purple parts over there for star parts. Oh, we got another one. All right. <laughs> Not bad. I'll, I'll, ooh, what? I'll, I'll take all these. Uh, all right. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. I, I mean, I can kind of use it for the aesthetic purpose of the HFX over here. Another one? Oh my god. Another one? Okay, that's pretty good. Not gonna lie, this is a pretty good. Yeah, this pool is good. You got two golds and then you got five purples. Yeah, not bad. This is probably the best one I have. Like for what I can remember, this is probably the best I have seen. Like in, in terms of just something right here. So not bad. I, not bad. Alright, so we are at the friend page over here and then you don't have to actually copy their IDs anymore because they preloaded every like the like the event type already. So what we need to actually do right now, we just need to beat play once and then beat it once again. And then we need to also play the official GB GBM uh, units over here. <laughs> is that is that uh what is this unit over here? Is this gonna be the full set Helios over here? What? Huh? Oh, wait, wait. I thought I clicked on this one over here. I thought I did. Oh, it's just Ari's. Alright, alright, okay. My bad. So let's start off with this person first. Okay, in terms of the unit, I'm gonna use. Yeah, they are pretty stacked out. Like, they're no, they're no slouch <laughs> in terms of the units. Uh, we will roll in with my shooting base unit over here. It should be pretty good overall. Alright, let's see what Oakenham can do over here. You got that pirate team per usual. Okay, let's actually awaken. Oh, look at it. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. That looks so, no, so nice. Okay, let's test the last shooting as well. Okay, what what can we do? What? The? Oh no, he did not. Is that re, uh, revive trait on that? Wow, <laughs> absurd. But we, you know. We still managed to beat it, so not too bad. So let's uh, play the other person as well, just to see what, what how we how we doing. Okay, let's go back over here and then do this. Let's see. Oh, uh, this one is gonna. Oh, this one is okay. This one is not as bad as uh, the other one. This one is a little bit more easier to kind of beat. So all right, I think we're gonna do the same thing. Let's actually use a GN feather get those uh, beautiful GN effects going on like yeah this is a well done animation right here not like I, I would like honestly run this on a skin just for this uh, butterfly effects over here I would say better than the ring zero wings over there yeah I would say a little bit better Ooh, look at that pose all right he's flying he's flying all right, so let's actually hop in and get one once more, and then beat the official GBM. Uh, let the their official comply, and then we can just call it a day right here. All right. Okay, same map again. Um, so it's just gonna be Arius, pretty low powder, so we can just kind of shoot and one more shot right there, and we are done. So not bad. So we have completed all of the bingo set requirement except the one that is. Uh, that's needed for everyone. Uh, uh, that's probably gonna take a little bit longer, I would say. So whenever that, whenever that happens, I think we 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 will be able to collect all the rewards from the bingo set. All right, going back to the bingo set. Yeah, did we complete it? I think yeah, we did. All right. So we are able to get the first. 
uh, six road done and then in terms of the that, that one below yeah that's gonna probably take a little bit longer so oh oh so the rewards is just getting the board the pilots itself and then what is the other awards like completing the whole set what about the bingo oh oh the last one you're gonna get the uh, the full set capsule ticket so that's not bad uh, I'm pretty sure the interested award is gonna be exactly the same as the first palette as well so all right I mean at least it's something at least it's gonna be a full set so that's gonna be pretty good uh, all right so we're gonna get more pilots. We also did get one. So we get two in total. Uh, two of the energy recovery strong as well. All right. So that's gonna be pretty much it for this video over here. So we were able to complete, not really complete, but you, you know we were able to do three whole bingo set today. Uh, so that's pretty good. Uh, in terms of the old gunner, in terms of like just the EX skills, like the portrait. I mean, it's a pretty overall good unit for anyone that does like double series, especially the old gunner itself. Uh, the G Inferter is a pretty good EX skill. I think the first time having like a remove all debuff, so that's a pretty uh, interesting uh, approach they went with over here. So I'm pretty sure later down the road we might see some more of those kind of removing those buff effects and all that. So that's pretty good overall. So with that being said, uh, this will be it for this video over here, and then I will catch you guys all on the next one.